The joint European and Russian ExoMars 2016 mission launched on a Proton rocket from Baikonur in Kazakhstan on the 14th of March. After a series of critical engine burns, the spacecraft left Earth's orbit for its seven-month, 500 million kilometre journey to Mars. The spacecraft consists of two modules, the Trace Gas Orbiter and Schiaparelli Lander, designed to demonstrate technologies for entry, descent and landing. The lander will separate from the orbiter on the 16th of October for a three-day coast and a six-minute descent to the surface. This will be the first landing attempt during the planet's dust season. The lander is heading for the Meridiani Planum, an area that is currently being studied by NASA's Opportunity rover and Europe's Mars Express orbiter. Schiaparelli will be activated a few hours before reaching the Martian atmosphere, when it will be travelling at some 21,000 kilometres per hour. The front heat shield, covered with 90 insulating tiles, will be subjected to temperatures of up to 1,500 degrees Celsius. 11 kilometres above the surface and slowed by the heat shield to around 1,700 kilometres per hour, the parachute will be deployed. 12 metres across, it is based on technology used by ESA's Huygens probe for the successful Titan landing. Four minutes after entering the atmosphere and now descending at 320 kilometres per hour, Schiaparelli will release its front heat shield and turn on its radar to assess its position above the surface. Just over a minute later, after jettisoning the parachute and rear heat shield, the module will activate its thrusters, slowing down to less than 7 kilometres per hour. Finally, two metres above the ground, the engines will switch off and the lander will drop to the surface. The shock will be cushioned by a crushable structure built into the module. Confirmation of landing within two hours. Once on the ground, because it's powered by batteries, the probe has only a few days until around October the 23rd to complete its science mission. The science payload on board, called DREAMS, consists of a suite of sensors to study the environment. It will measure the wind speed and direction, humidity, pressure and temperature, as well as the transparency of the atmosphere and atmospheric electric fields. Twelve hours after separation, the trace gas orbiter will fire its engine to raise its trajectory and take it into orbit around Mars, otherwise it would crash into the surface. This critical burn will last about 134 minutes. The orbiter can then begin its own science mission to study the Martian atmosphere.